Hi, this is Emma from Stitched Up by Emma. For this project, you will need DK yarn, 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle, stitch marker, some toy stuff in, and safety eyes, and a very small amount of black thread. So to begin making our marshmallow, we're going to start with a magic ring. So we're going to wrap it around our fingers and behind the first loop. So we've got a cross. We're going to push our hook under the first loop and grab that second loop, pulling it up with a little bit of a twist. And we'll then chain one to secure. Now that we have our magic ring created, we are going to create six single crochets into the magic ring. So we are going to insert the hook into the middle of the magic ring. We're gonna pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook. We're gonna wrap the yarn around and pull through both loops. And that's one single crochet. I'm gonna repeat this until we have six in total. This project uses the continuous rounds method. So we'll not be slip stitching and chaining one. We're just gonna start each round straight into it. So now we have our six stitches. We're just gonna close the magic ring. Starting round two, we're going to work two single crochets into each stitch around. So we're going to start off with six single crochets and by the time we finish this round we'll have 12. So that's just working two single crochets in each stitch around. I'm going to place the stitch marker in the first stitch of every round just so that I can tell where the last stitch of each round is. So if you want to pause the video, work your 12 stitches and meet me back once you are finished. On to round three, we're going to start with one single crochet in the first stitch and an increase in the second stitch and we're just going to repeat this six times around our circle. So pop in a single crochet in that first stitch and place a stitch marker in it and then two single crochets for an increase in that second stitch and repeat this around. So if you want to pause the video, complete this round and meet me back at the end once you have finished. Moving on to round four, we're going to work our first single crochet of the round in that first stitch and place a stitch marker in there to mark it. We're going to work an increase stitch and then we're going to move on to our repeat which is single crochet for the next two stitches and increase in the third and we're going to repeat this five times around you'll be left with one single crochet left to work so for this round we're actually split the first repeat in half to start at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row this is going to stagger your increases so that they do not stack on top of each other if they were stacking on top of each other they would create a hexagon shape Whereas if they are staggered, it creates a more of a circular shape. On to round five, we're gonna work a repeat of three single crochets and then an increased stitch and we're going to repeat this six times round. So three single crochets, 
and increase in the fourth and we'll end up with 30 stitches around our circle. So if you want to pause the video and continue this and meet me back once you've completed it. Moving on to round six, we are going to work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around our circle, but working into the back loops. So if we inspect our stitch, you can see on our V we have the front loop and the back loop. We're only going to be inserting our hook into the back loop only and create a single crochet just as we normally do. If we can actually look at here, we still have our front loops exposed and this is going to create a ridge for us. So if we have a look at our finished marshmallow, you can see the front loops exposed as a ridge, working all the way around. So if you want to complete your 30 stitches and meet me back at the end once you have completed them. Rounds 7 to 15, I'm going to group together as they are worked exactly the same. We're going back into both loops of the stitch and we're going to work one single crochet around each round for 30 stitches. So that's nine rounds in total. Each row will have 30 stitches. So if you want to pause the video, complete those nine rounds and meet me back once you've completed them. Moving on to round 16, we're going to work another round of single crochet in the back loops only. And this is going to be the start of us closing the circle to finish our marshmallow. So just working one single crochet into the back loops only. So if you want to complete this and meet me back once you are done. So we've just finished our back loop only round. I'm just going to pull up my hook so I don't lose where I am. Turn it round so we have the top of our marshmallow. And as you can see at the bottom, we've just finished that back loop only round where we have a ridge. And we're going to use this ridge as a marker for where to place our safety eyes. So just grab them. And if you leave your working yarn at the back, so we've got our seam to the back, with the front face in, we're going to count from that ridge three rows up from the bottom. Just insert one eye and then we are going to count stitches across from the first eye. So if we use the holes as an example, I've counted five holes over and in the sixth hole, that's where I'm going to place my second safety eye. So I'm just going to pop them in. And before we secure the backs, we're just going to see how that looks. So we've got the five holes between. If you want them further apart, you can make the gap bigger. If you want them closer together, you can close the gap up between the two. So I'm happy with that placement. So I'm just going to expose the backs and snap the safety eye together to secure them. And there we have the eyes attached and we will continue closing up the hole. So round 17 is where we're going to start decreasing our stitches to close the hole up. 
So we have a repeat of single crochet three stitches. I'm just going to mark our first stitch of the round. So we've got our three stitches and then we are going to decrease in the next stitch. So to do this, it's single crocheting two stitches together. I like to do the invisible decrease, so I'm just working in the front loops only. So I'm going to pick up the front loop of the next stitch and of the next and create a single crochet as we normally would, but using the front loops of the two stitches. So again, three single crochet and then picking up the front loop only of the next two stitches will create our decrease. I'm going to repeat this all the way around. So if you want to pause the video, complete the six repeats and meet me back once you have finished them. So you can see the hole is starting to close. So on to round 18. This is another staggered stitch where we split the repeats across the start and the finish of the round. So we've got one single crochet. We're going to decrease it in the next. And then our repeat is single crochet in the next two stitches and then decrease. And we repeat this five times around, which will leave us with one single crochet to finish off the round, leaving us with 18 stitches. So if you want to complete this and meet me back at the end. So we finished round 18 and I'm just gonna pull up a loop and we're gonna start stuffing our marshmallow. So we're just going to grab a little bit of our toy stuff in and just fluff it up and we're just putting little bits in at a time just to keep it nice and fluffy. So you can stuff it as much as you like or as little as you like. And we'll just keep stuffing until you're happy with how squishy he is. I'm just going to pop a little bit more in. And I'm quite happy with how stuffed that is. You could at this point add a rattle insert into your marshmallow if you wish to make it rattle. That choice is totally optional. I'm not going to bother this time round. Um, but I'm quite happy with how stuffed he is. We can rearrange the eyes if they've moved a little bit and we're going to continue closing the gap. So on to round 19, we have a repeat that is repeated six times. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch and decrease in the next. And we're going to repeat this six times round, which will leave us with 12 stitches. So if you want to complete that and meet me back, it's just one single crochet and decrease in the next. On to round 20, which is our last round of the marshmallow, we're going to be working a decrease stitch six times around. So it's working two single crochets together six times around. So we will end up with six stitches in total. So if you want to complete that and meet me back once you've done that.
So once we've created our last decrease, I'm going to snip our yarn and pull my hook out. So I'm going to attach my needle and we are going to sew this little opening closed. So I'm just going to be grabbing the front loops of every stitch that we have left. So that's the six stitches that we ended up with. Just going through the front loops of each one. And then just pulling it tight once we've picked them all up. I'm just going to pop my needle all the way through and come out the top and that will just help the bottom of our marshmallow stay flat. And then I'm just going to pop it right back down to the bottom just to finish it off and snip the yarn off. It is at this point that your marshmallow is complete and this step is completely optional. I decided to embroider some facial features onto mine and as you can see from the various marshmallows on screen I've given them all different features. You could however just leave him with the eyes or add some features of your own. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and hope to see some of your makes soon. If you do make any of your own little marshmallows, please tag me on Instagram at Stitched Up by Emma. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have liked it, please give it a like and consider subscribing. It would really help my channel out. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.